Hello again, Internet! Welcome to another premiere episode in which I cheat and make it a double one. Seeing as both the series I'll be talking about are based, however loosely, on the personality of Oda Nobunaga, I thought it would be fitting to make a video on both of them. Fear not, I'm not about to give you a history lesson, as I'm not at all qualified to do so, and more importantly, the actual persona of Nobunaga isn't really relevant for either anime. Let's kick it off with my Nobunaga rant, shall we? Imagine the biggest scramble of anime genres you've ever seen typed terribly into a first episode. That's Nobunaga the full episode 1. In this universe, Nobunaga is the unpopular heir to a country in the eastern planet, who is predicted by Jen Dark from the western planet to be the savior of the world. There's no way to put this mildly, I hated Nobunaga the Fool, I hated the whole episode, I dropped it after episode 1, which I rarely do, I usually follow the free episode rule, but I couldn't take it because it was so bad. Saying that this mixture of sci-fi, mecha, historical and fantasy elements felt cheap and forced is quite honestly being condescending towards this anime. Everything that Nobunaga does, it does so poorly. The pacing is all over, the CGI is, for lack of a better word, awkward, and even the rest of the animation is overall iffy and unpolished. To top it all, the writing is really average and chopped. Characters don't seem to have anything going for them so far, and even their interactions feel forced. I mean, what the hell, Da Vinci tells Jane that the other dude is their friend and then they steal his ship and then he tells the other guy to shoot them down? Plot holes, plot holes everywhere. And while we're at it, who the fuck did Leonardo's character design? No, tubas are not acceptable fashion accessories and if that's how they're trying to make historical figures look interesting, it's a giant fail. The only thing I don't feel like complaining about after this first episode is the soundtrack. The only thing! The rest is a bunch of pieces that don't fit in a quality that I compare to the most dubious anime of the 90s. Look, I like the odd historical anime, I like the odd mecha anime, but I don't want to watch something that is not acceptable at either. Nobunagan is not either of the things I talked about before with Nobunaga, except for the name, basically. It starts pretty much the typical slice of life, down to the point of having the girl running late with the toast still on her mouth, but it turns into an action shonen with kids that fight monsters using uh, historical figures as their source of power. Compared with Nobunaga, Nobunaga is a much better experience. Sure, it's not the best anime ever, it will hardly be in the top 10 of the season. Its animation is visibly low budget, which damages the potential of the series. The characters are pretty average so far, but there's some interest in them in the fact that they incarnate historical figures, and this episode we were introduced to Jack the Ripper, which was probably the most interesting character. Even if the plot is averagely written and a bit predictable, the enjoyment was average to good, so I might continue to watch it just because I want to know how other historical figures translate into superpowers, because that's the type of thing that usually gets me curious. That being said, my hopes for this series are pretty low and I don't think it will surprise anyone soon. That's all for today, folks. What did you think about the Nobunaga pair? Which one did you like the most? Tell me down in the comments, and until next time, bye-bye!